Hey everyone, this is Evil Jezza, and today I'm bringing you a standard battle on Fisherman's Bay. Um, I'll be using my T-34, and I'm in a platoon with two other friends of mine. Um, they are also in a T-34, and one other guy is in the S-35CA. And as you can see on the side, left side of the screen, we are in the um, bottom tier. Bottom tier. Let me just uh, minimise. Yeah, so you can see screen bam. Uh, should we just have it? Yeah, so you can see the kill numbers for each person. Um, like I say, it's a standard battle, and you know, you just either capture the enemy flag or kill all the enemy. You could destroy all tanks, destroy enemy tanks. Being, I'll be uh, putting out some pointers you could do here when you're at the bottom of the group. Like I say, the enemy you've got like. Uh, Type 59, IS, Tiger, Jagged Panthers, and I'm in a T-34, medium tank, semi-upgraded. I'll be putting out some tips what you can do to help, to help yourself and your team. So what I'm doing here, as obviously in this map, I'm going for the wider route, more open area, which suits my tank, being more agile than heavy. I, obviously I do not want to go into the city area where their heavy tanks are going as they have the huge advantage well I can't use my agility to manoeuvre around them so I'll, on the left side of the map there's a lot of open areas where I can move my tank freely and it's a um, huge help you see the, there's a VK3601 heavy over there, I can't really pen him but I like to uh, annoy the hell out of my enemies. I just switch to HE slightly there to um, annoy them. I get HE here because I can't know where I'm going to penetrate that with AP and might do some minor damage with HE. Maybe do critical damage on a uh, vital part of the tank. You never know, so it's always worth trying. Got nothing to lose. Uh, I'm just uh, surveying the area around me. I don't know, there's a top 59 just over that ridge. VK36 over there, covering him, and the KV, 1S I think it was. So I'm just moving over to the right because I'm a bit out of Gundia and I can't really flank T59 without being shot by the supporting tanks like the VK and KV1S. So I'll just, just maneuver over here, take some shots at the VK. I can't really get, I still can't get it shot on, so I just. Uh, Leave it. See the T-52 in the middle there. That's the uh, scout tank. So I head over there, and also to support my friend. As you can see T-34 in the uh, orange colour. Just so make my way over to the uh, village in the centre of the map now. You can see to my left, the KV-1S and VK have moved up. Swell, I decided to move and hit him from the side since they're all grouped together. Last one I noticed the T150 Russian, and I need to get the head out of here. I, mean, I tried to make a break for it, he gets a shot off at me. I think that's high explosive, I'm not sure. No, it must have been that I'm piercing. Anyway, I just get away from those, I can't do anything. I tell my team on the map there's I just put it out of the map, the heavy tank there, just so the team knows there's a heavy in the centre of the map. You can see my mate there. So I stopped to think about flanking the tank with him, but it's not worth it. So I decided to go and help my team in the town, flank their tiger from the side, with IS. As I've got the height advantage and outflanking them. And that's our team there, the Yagi Pampa saying we're a stupid team. Oh. Maybe there's nothing wrong with the team. Moving from the target there. A couple of free shots. I back away. As is aiming for me. I move forward again now that it's safe. So now we've got the uh, harbour the, uh, area, the fishing bay, but they've 
totally destroyed our left flank with that T with their T59 and stuff. So we need help from here. I see my RT is in trouble, so I proceed to uh, kill that T52. Right, just under 400 meters, and then we see the T150 again. Then. Ow. I'm worried about being this first target, so I just back away behind the panther. As he can take the shot, and he will survive it. I would not have survived that shot. And now we're still... Uh, that T-150 is dead, and we're still... With no casualties. I'll move over here to get some cover from the behind the bushes. I'm on my way towards the base. Now I see the Type 59 over there and the KV-1 to my right. So I need to take some shots of that. I'm not doing any damage. No, t is enough. So I'm going to go for the T-1 Heavy, which I know I can hurt. A couple of bad shots there, but... I'm not doing well there. I reverse out the way, because obviously the KV is going to be aiming at me. Same with the T-1, but that's dead. Base is 50% captured there. Let me just go to free camera. Oh, a bit laggy. Yeah. We can see their Type 59 is over there. He's got himself surrounded now by friendly tanks. So, back into the action. We see. I mean, they're capturing the base now. I switch to HE and reset the cap. I use HE there because there's no guarantee of resetting the cap with AP if it bounces off and did nothing. So I went to HE, which might not do damage, but it's 9 times out of 10 it's going to reset that cap. So, good tip for you there guys, if you see your base being captured and you don't feel comfortable using AP, or if you're getting really close to 100%, just switch to HE and blast away, you're bound to do some damage. And even if that fails and you're close to the base, just go for the ramp. You know, just do some damage, give your team some breathing space to attack and defend the uh, base. Now what I'm doing here is we've got the base secure. Um, I see a KV in the M4 Easy 8. We've got it secure. So I proceed to help my Tiger over here with against the T1 Heavy. So I proceed to kill. That makes my second kill. So the easy out of there. Just leaving the SU8 left. So we turn it down from getting our tanks destroyed at the beginning and our Yagi Panther the same with a super team. Now look at the score line. 14 9. They've just got an SU8 left. Um, we've got a King Tiger. Just had a Tiger. You can see the SU8 over there. But I mean we've got three meds, two tank destroyers, two one RT. It's game over for the enemy team. So I'll just pass forward it here. Oh, just have Oh, okay, I'll just pass forward it. I'll pass on the fort. So I'm just at the uh, buildings here, waiting for allies to come and help me support before we go for the kill, because the SDRT would have the first shot on me, and I'm a one-shot kill, and I don't want to die for nothing. So I'll wait for my allies, there's plenty of time, 6 minutes left on the clock, plenty of time for my mates to come and help me. So if I do get killed, there's two more to back me up straight away while he's got a long reload. Now we don't see the RT at A2 where it was last year, so I'll proceed to move up to A1 in case he ran up there to hide. So I'll just I'm checking up here. I mean, the guy has just disappeared. And just do a circle around here. It's definitely not up here. He's definitely not where we just last seen him. So he's either snuck past me somehow around the one line D1 E1, which is quite unlikely. So I'm just going to whiz down now and check along the A2, B2 in case he's got 100% camo crew, camouflage netting, but no, nah, he's not there. 
but we do spot him as you'll see now he's over there and he's done quite a way to try and hide himself but there he is dead so we win this one 15 10 I got um, two kills to boot 861 experience 19.500 credits this was with premium I only got hit once from that T150 we saw earlier um, I fired off 35 shots 24 hits on the target base defense 72 percent and then that was just from one HE round I did very little to no damage on that KB but I saved the team from being capped I destroyed the T1 Heavy, the T52 scout tank that was rushing after the RRT which died anyway but I, did, I damaged quite a few number there T uh, Battle Heroes, me as a defender, the Yager Panther got top gun and the T25 slash 2 got sniper so in all in all it was a good battle I made a lot of profit there it's the great little tank T34 and I hope you enjoyed this video please leave a comment below like the video and subscribe for more videos thank you again